instinct. That which comes from within without a call. That which calls from within outwards. That which is inherent to a being. Sets of behavior, sets of perceptions, ways of understanding, flexible and inflexible imprints, instincts that drive forwards, that push forwards, that bubble forth like magma. Does a volcano have an instinct? Instinct, does a volcano have an instinct? So does a volcano, does it have properties? Um, an interesting boundary condition might be plants. Plants have tendencies to grow towards light, to grow away from gravity, roots grow towards gravity. Are, they, 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 are those instincts, are they, it's, 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 very difficult to pin down exactly what an instinct is. The notion of instinct pushing outwards into the world is quite interesting. And so it's something to do with the way with which we interface with the world. I mean, instincts has a connotation of being embedded somehow, right? That you're sort of stuck with your instincts. Can your instincts be modified? Can you learn instincts uh, or are instincts are you sort of stuck with them? You can manage them, but, but, but you have what you have. Instincts like magnetic poles being drawn out of us by great forces. The plant reaches towards the light as pulled down into gravity. The sources of our instincts maybe do not lie within, but actually lie without that a great call is happening from the outside world, beckoning us to form some kind of dance, to perform some kind of dance, to interact with the world in a specific way. Great distant forces being actualized here, now, the present moment that's very interesting instincts not as standalone things but as part of a system um, a way of speaking to a form of language communication sets with external reality so that's that's very interesting the 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 coupling of so an instinct emerges as a consequence of a need for that instinct to emerge being presented in the environment. And so that's very interesting. So what we have in us then are like the seeds of instinct waiting to be activated by being alive and being active in an environment, something like that. Instinct to breathe only possible when there is a continual source of life to nourish first the fetus and then the newborn, the oxygen for the breath to happen, so one half within, one half without. This pull, this desire to pull in what is outside, transmute it within, and then to give back to the environment. Does the universe have an instinct towards greater complexity? What a deeper entropy to the lifelessness. 
Mm. Again, very interesting. It seems like it might be interesting to explore the boundaries between instinct and tendency, instinct and intuition, instinct and reflex, instinct and, um, I don't know, other forms of autonomic type reactions to circumstances in the environment. Where are the boundaries between these things? Is instinct maybe, oh, is instinct maybe the participatory knowing and then stacked on top of that moving up when you get to the propositional that's intuition is it maybe something like that is there is there some way of putting it into Verveke's framework instinct is deep biological wisdom sourced from the beginning of time when the first life was born, how to stay alive, how to stay alive, how to stay alive is the question of the instincts. Figuring out by any means how to keep this life form lifing, how to keep this life form forming. To continue the metabolism, to continue the process. Life being born, the first instinct arising. Life being born in maybe a blank, no knowledge, just physical pulls and drifts and sways. And then remembering which sways and pulls and pushes work the best and saving them for future generations. So instincts are a link to our deep ancestry if, if, if they've evolved over large amounts of time they are also linked to our ancestry it, it also if you if, if, if one strips down instinct to being an instinct for survival that there is actually only one instinct that that and that is to survive and that all of the other things which have become instincts are modified are modifications, hacks of that basic instinct for survival, which then manifests as an instinct to grow towards sunlight, for example, because a plant's chances of survival are better if it is able to do that. But I, I, I wonder if there's, there's a single route to instinct. One origin of life or multiple origins of life? multiple branches on the life tree at what point is there a phase shift when the neocortex comes online when the socio neocortex comes online what kind of phase shifts happen the instincts what happens when we finally access genome on a global scale and rewrite our instincts. Instincts rewriting instincts? Is that what's necessary to, present, to prevent us from going extinct? Rewriting the code of life, rewriting our destinies. Is that even possible to rewrite instincts, bring them into awareness and manage them? Yes, but rewrite code, which is in some cases, hundreds of millions or billions of years old. I mean, that's really slow code. I'm, yeah, rewriting that seems like an impossible task. There's, Maybe some value in the idea of the, a switch of focus to not quite such slow code when thinking about instincts. And so, no, this is somehow detaching the survival thing from all of the other things that, that it has become and, and allowing those to be rewritten. 